Our bodies were designed to adapt under stressful conditions, at least for a short time. The longer that stress impacts us, the more cracks or symptoms our body starts to expose. Our energy can start to decline, we can't focus, our moods begin to swing, and now even our sleep becomes a chore. These are all signs of a nervous system becoming imbalanced. So what can we do about it? Joining me today is Rachel Kilroy from Better Bean Company to discuss just that. Welcome to the show, Rachel. Hi, thanks for having me here. Well, thanks so much for being here today because I want to talk about all the fun stuff that stress does to our body, if you want to call it fun, <laughs> actually. But we're talking yeah. about you know how it impacts our sleep, how it impacts energy, the, our focus, our ability to focus, you know how it messes with our moods up and down. How is all this interrelated with each other? So sleep, energy, stress, focus, mood, all of these things are sort of related to each other um, really because they all involve our nervous system. Um, Our nervous system um, has really two main parts to it. The central nervous system, which is made up of our brain and our spinal cord, um, and the peripheral nervous system. Um, And that's basically all of the other nerves throughout the body. And the peripheral nervous system can be broken down into different branches. Um, The somatic branch, this is the responsible um, for all of our voluntary muscle contractions. Like when you decide you want to pick up a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, it signals to your muscles to contract so that your arm can move and grasp the cup. Um, We also have the enteric branch, and this is the part of the nervous system that's associated with the gut. Um, A lot of people aren't aware aware that our gut has just as many nerve connections as our brain. Um, And this is where the gut brain connection lies. And the part of the nervous system that we're really going to talk about today um, is the autonomic branch of the nervous system. And really, this consists of of two different parts that automatically respond to our body body chemistry, the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. Yeah. The good old sympathetic and parasympathetic. Yeah, Yeah, you're talking, what's really the difference between those two? So the difference between the two, um, is the need to react really, and then the need to rest, right? So our sympathetic nervous system, it jumps into action when we need to go. Um, While the parasympathetic nervous system, it controls when we need to go slow. Um, You can think of these as go and slow or sort of the the gas and the brake pedal, if you will. Um, Ideally, we want our bodies to be able to switch between the two. You know, if you think about um, a gazelle being chased by a lion, right? When you're being chased, that sort of go kicks into high gear. Your fight or, your fight or flight response kicks in, right? But mm-hmm. once you're to safety, once that you know gazelle has run off to safety, they can sort of rest and relax and, and calm back down. Um, and the rest and digest activity is our parasympathetic nervous system. Yes. So, so, so b- really, basically we got that fight or flight and we got the rest and digest. And, and really it. it's, a lot of people are just stuck on one side or the other, right? Mm-hmm. They're either always running or they, they have no energy to run. And that's sort of, Absolutely. it's all about trying to create that balance again, isn't it? When the sympathetic nervous system is activated, um, you know, dilating of your airways, increased heart rate, increased lung capacity, kind of to keep you going. Um, and if we think about the parasympathetic nervous system, you know, It's time to slow down the body. Uh, Your pupils are going to constrict. You might notice that your heart and your respiratory rates are going to slow. And this is also the time that we're going to sort of digest food. Your body's going to take the time to digest. Um, So the goal is really to have the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous systems working together. Um, And we can kind of, we feel better, right? We have more energy. We sleep better. We respond better to occasional stress. We're more focused. We have a lighter mood when those two systems are working together in harmony. Um, yeah, I, th- and- I think a good example of that would be someone like if they're stuck in fight or flight, if you're just really having a stressful day, a lot of people are not hungry because we weren't meant to digest at the same time as we're trying to run away from danger, right? Exactly. So that's really how those two systems work together. And that's why if you're, if you lost your appetite because you're so stressed, it can show that you're more in that sympathetic side compared to the parasympathetic. And there's a nerve that we're just starting to understand a little bit more that is part of the you know, nervous system called the vagus nerve. And vagus in Latin means wanderer. This is the 12th cranial nerve. Um, and it goes from the, br- the gut, the brain, all the way down to the gut and sort of wanders and branches out. Um, and it's sort of that nerve that helps us balance back and forth between that sympathetic and that parasympathetic nervous system. 
Um, it's responsible for things like heart rate, for things like your circadian rhythm, breathing. Um, and there is a way that, um, you know, doctors can measure the strength of your vagus nerve. They, they sort of call it vagal tone. How easily can your body go back and forth between the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems? Um, if you kind of go online today or you read a lot of wellness and self-care kind of publications, one of the big trends you'll see right now is vagal toning exercises. Mm -hmm. And these are things like deep breath exercises, singing, um, you know, humming, humming. Um, yep. meditation, Tai Chi, any of these types of activities, even laughing or playing with a pet or, you know, with yep. children can help to stimulate the vagus nerve and then can help to kind of strengthen and tone that nerve so that you go back and forth with a little bit more ease. I've also heard that uh, harsh gargling, like after you brush your teeth, mm -hmm. gargling is very stimulating for that vagus nerve too as well. You know, I have, yeah. I have most of my clients do the humming action because that's very good for the stimulation. But gargling and humming, I think, are, are very good. But singing, if you can sing, that's probably a good thing too. But that's not what I'm going to do. <laughs> me either. <laughs> you don't want to hear me yeah. sing. <laughs> so there's lots of ways that you can help to kind of stimulate the vagus nerve and to help kind of bring the body into that state of calm if you're kind of always in that go, 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 go. Yeah. Um, and additional to that, there are some really great clinically studied uh, herbal ingredients and just different supplement ingredients that also um, can support, you know, helping your vagus nerve and helping just yeah. your nervous system as a whole. Yeah, I know there's a lot of supplements out there to help balance out our sleep and our energy, our focus, and so forth. But before we dive into that, let's sort of break down the difference between adaptogens and nootropics, because that's where the buzzword now, everybody's hearing about nootropics. So sort of define those two for me, if you would. Sure. So adaptogens are a very unique class of herbs that um, help the body deal with physical and emotional stress. They help provide balance. Um, and it was a formal de definition was given to the wor word back in 1968. Um, the technical definition is a non-toxic substance that produces a non-specific response. Um, you know, it basically balances or influences the body. Um, and so some of the herbs that are commonly heard of that fall into the adaptogenic category are herbs like ashwagandha, rhodiola, um, a lot of mushrooms um, are adaptogenic, the medicinal mushrooms, um, things like holy basil, uh, shisandra. So there's quite a few of them. Um, and they often are, are used to help with support with uh, things like stress and mood, um, helping to support calmness and, and things of that nature. Um, yeah, nootropics, on the other hand, nos uh, means mind and tropos uh, means bend. Literally. So, you know, it refers to anything um, that's going to help with healthy cognitive function, clear thinking, healthy memory recall, creativity, mood, motivation. And there's quite a few ingredients out there that fall into this category as well. And some of them we're going to talk about today. Yeah, so I know Solary has formulated some products that are centered around these topics of our stress and mood and energy. Why don't we dive deep into some of those? Let's start with the stress formula that Solary has come out with. So what, what kind of ingredients are they using in that one? So the main clinically studied ingredient that we used in this formula is a brand new to market ashwagandha. Um, it's an ashwagandha root extract that is standardized to 35% with analytes. With analytes are the compound class within ashwagandha that gives um, gives it a lot of its properties. And most uh, most of these uh, are usually at about a 5%, and this particular extract is at about 35%. Wow, that's um, huge. And it has been clinically studied both for um, stress response as well as for sleep. Um, and so there are backed by two double-blind placebo-controlled clinicals. Um, and what the clinicals basically showed was that the ashwagandha can help support healthy cortisol levels, um, and they help to create an adaptogenic response in the body. Um, they also um, did a wonderful study for restorative sleep. And restorative sleep is um, referred to as sleep where you actually get into all five stages of sleep. And unfortunately, not everybody actually gets into all five stages of sleep, no. or some people might get into all five stages of sleep, but then they're woken up and they don't stay in that 
all five stages where they get that deep restorative sleep. Um, and so this is a really big problem. And so with this particular ashwagandha, they also looked at the uh, restorative sleep as one of the, the outcomes. And so we decided to put the ashwagandha in both the stress and the sleep. Um, and there was research shown that taking it twice a day can actually get into your system a little faster. So you could take the stress formula in the morning and you could still take the stress formula at night, both of which contain this, this lovely ashwagandha. Um, the stress formula also has shiitake mushrooms, GABA, and L-theanine. Um, so it's rounded out with other ingredients that have been traditionally studied to help with stress support. Um, it's just a really wonderful formula. Um, our is. sleep formula, ha also having that same exact extract, um, also has melatonin in there. Um, it's a little bit of mel melatonin that gets your body right away. It's about one milligram. And then it has a time release melatonin that extends out over a six to eight hour period of time. Um, and so you're only getting about a total of three milligrams of, of melatonin in the formula in addition to that ashwagandha. Um, so you're saying both the stress formula and the sleep formula both have the ashwagandha in there, the adaptogen. Correct. And urban. then the stress okay. has some other supportive stress ingredients. The sleep has some other supportive sleep ingredients, including that very unique time-release melatonin um, that can help keep you asleep and helps to kind of give you a little bit of melatonin throughout the night rather than just mm -hmm. all at once up front. So it would be a great formula for people who have not only trouble getting to sleep but also staying asleep. So it'd Absolutely. be good for both groups And again, they were designed to take together if that's something mm -hmm. you need, because a lot of people who have stress also have sleep issues. They, they and go so, hand in hand, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, you could take one or you could take both. It's really, you can customize it, customize it to your needs. That's perfect. I like that. So what about energy? What Everybody wants more energy. So what, what are we so using for energy these days? This. Yeah, I'm so excited about these products because energy um, usually is caffeine. That's usually what you see in products for energy. Yeah. And for me, that sort of goes against why you would take an energy formula. You know, caffeine is just a quick quick fix. It's not really doing anything behind That's the right. scenes to kind of address the issues that are causing the lack of energy. Um, and so we really wanted to, to have something that was not a caffeine focus. Um, so we have two adaptogens in the formula, rhodiola and cordyceps mushrooms, and a very unique herb called uh, Alpinia galangal. And galangal, oh. it looks very similar to <laughs> ginger, um, ginger root. It's a very similar in the family of ginger. It does come from India and it has clinical studies. It is the only herb that we have ever come across that um, has research for energy and is caffeine free. Interesting. Um, very interesting. Yeah. So in the clinical studies, it's it, the, it showed significant support for alertness. Um, they had clinical support for five hours of state sustained attention. Um, and they found that um, if you do decide to take this with caffeine, that it has a synergist synergistic effect with caffeine, very similar to how when you take green tea, um, you know, there's theanine in there that balances out the jitteriness. What we found was that taking this gal and gal with caffeine kind of mellows out the jitteriness of caffeine and kind of just enhances the performance of the caffeine. So we didn't put caffeine in this formula because we know most people drink caffeine in the morning. They have coffee, they have tea. It's just so common. Um, so we formulated this to kind of be something that could be taken right alongside your morning coffee. Well, like you said, it's, it's you know, caffeine is, does not address the real problem and it's good for some short-term energy, but in the exactly. long run, it's not helping our adrenal gland system. So I love the, I love more of the adaptogenic herb approach because it's all about trying to modulate that stress response and help keep that energy more stable through the daytime. I think that's a, it's a great product. I mean, very interesting. I never heard about the, uh, the, the, what, what do you call the herb again? Gala? It's called Alpinia galangal. Yeah. Galangal is used in a lot of like Asian cooking, <laughs> Thai food, um, um, different food like that, um, but it is very similar to ginger in the way that it looks. I have never and heard of that before. Yeah, and the important thing about this too is that the, the, the it, it did show that it will not affect sleep. So you know, if you take okay. the the galangal in the morning, it's not going to impact your sleep in the evening, which is great. Um, the other and the other two herbs in there, yeah, the other herbs in there, I'll mention rhodiola is my favorite herb for when I travel. Mm -hmm. I use it for jet lag. Um, yeah. I, I love yeah. rhodiola for, for traveling. Um, it's like my go-to. So, and when I travel, I love this formula for sleep as well to help get my body back into like a, 
a normal schedule wherever I am. Exactly. I'm, I'm all about the cordyceps personally for working out, the stamina, lots of research on the cordyceps mm -hmm. mushrooms used for stamina and muscles and helping move oxygen around faster too. So I'm a, I'm a big cordyceps fan for that. I'd love that just naturally for energy by itself, but you add rhodiola and the other things to it, that makes it even better. So I really yeah, like that formula. Great, it's not a stimulant. Yeah, it's a great formula. It definitely is one that you feel it working pretty, pretty mm -hmm. quickly when you take it. So. Okay. What about the people who need to focus more? We, need, we so need more focus, more concentration. Yes. One of the most exciting raw materials that I've come across in years is a raw material called Cognizant. Um, and it's an ingredient called citicoline. Mm -hmm. um, and that is the primary ingredient in this formula. Um, it's a, The citicoline is a source of choline. It's sort of an intermediate for phosphatidylcholine, which is yeah. a complex uh, with fatty acids that we need in for our brain and for nerve support. It's incredibly important for the brain. Um, and it is found throughout the body, but it's most concentrated in the, the brain. Um, and it helps to support something called neuronal plasticity. Um, and that's where the neural networks in our brain grow, they change, they modify communications to respond to our environments. Um, and Cognizant has been clinically shown to support the phosphatidylcholine levels in the brain. It also has been shown to support mental focus, normal age-related cognition, um, healthy memory recall. It just has such a wealth of amazing research. Um, this comes from Japan, where it's been clinically studied for many, many years. Um, and so that really anchors this, this product. Um, but you took you know, it a I step further, added lion's mane to it. We did. We added lion's mane and we also added another great adaptogenic herb um, called bacopa. Um, so it's just a really wonderful blend of, of herbs. Um, and again, this is one that you sort of feel like you definitely kind of notice that it, it you feel like you have more attention and, you know, more focused attention, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So what about controlling moods going up and down? I have teenagers, so I see this almost on a daily basis of the moods going up and down. What, what can I give them to help them stabilize mood a little bit better? So there, in our mood formula, there's this wonderful uh, ingredient called Zembrin. Um, and Zembrin, it's an herb called Scoletium tortuosum. Um, it also sometimes goes by the name Kana, K-A-N-N-A, -N -N in South Africa, where it's grown. Um, it's sustainably harvested, and it has a wonderful, wonderful uh, social responsibility kind of mission as well. Uh, you know, it's been awarded all kinds of awards from the South African government, um, but it's been traditionally used by indigenous peoples in this part of the world um, for mood for, you know, centuries, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. And in more recent years, they've decided to do a lot of clinical research on this herb. Um, they've done five clinical research, uh, clinical studies, double blind, placebo controlled human clinicals. Um, and the research really has shown that Zembrin helps to support healthy uh, serotonin levels. Um, so they've done a lot of research to show that it can help um, to, you know, elevate a mood and it helps just with kind of emotional well-being and to kind of relax the mind. Um, it's, it's a really wonderful ingredient. Again, uh, a lot of people, when they take it, you know, they, they notice something right away, um, you know, because it does have a, a pretty quick effect. Um, we also added a couple of other ingredients to kind of balance out the formula. We added holy basil and reishi mushroom, um, two adaptogens. And we also added, um, lithium orotate, which is That's a, um, yeah, it's a trace mineral. Um, it's the ingredient, if you remember the original 7-Up, um, you know, yes. that actually used to have lithi lithium in it. Um, That's right. You know, and it was the original ads used to be that it would kind of help to relax you and to calm you. Um, and that was due to the lithium in there. And so it's just a very, very, very small amount of lithium or take just five milligrams. Um, but again, just in there to help support mood and just a calm mind. No, I think that's a great formulation to really help us more uplifting, but, you know, balance. Like you said from the beginning, that sympathetic, parasympathetic system gets out of balance. And that's what a lot of these herbs are studied to do is trying to create that more harmony in, in the way we feel that where our energy levels are. So I, I think y'all got some great formulations here, but I, I know I'm going to have some customers ask since can they take all five products together? Because <laughs> yes. everybody wants a little bit of all of this right now. That's sort of how 
I designed the, the program, I, I thought about this and I was like, you know, if somebody put all of these things in front of me, I would say, mm-hmm. I have all five. I need, I need, all I need something for sleep and stress. You know, so we did formulate everything to be stacked. You know, what we didn't want to focus on here was just adding more vitamins and minerals and things like that. We, you, we're already getting those in multivitamins. We right. wanted things that you could just easily add into your daily routine as needed that could interchangeably work with each other each other and anything else already in your regimen um and if you think about it they're kind of all a like a domino effect right if you if you don't get enough sleep then you wake up and you don't have energy right so you can't focus and you're groggy and you know you might react uh you know to stress differently you might have more stress you might not be in the greatest of moods you might be a bit irritable and it's sort of just a domino effect and so helping one sort of helps all of the other aspects of of your life as well um and so really it can be pick and choose personally i like to take the energy and the focus early in the morning with breakfast and take stress sort of midday and then mood, I like to take towards the evening and then add the sleep in, you know, um, a lot of times people that late afternoon is kind of when they hit that, That's right. that crash. And so the mood formula, I like that time of day. Um, so. Well, I think that's an awesome job y'all did in formulating that and, and especially yeah. enabling it to be stacked and not getting too much of one something else. So very cool formulations, Rachel. I, f- I appreciate you bringing that to the table today. I think that's going to help a lot of people out in trying to get through their days and keep more balanced. Yeah, me too. Thanks so much for having me. This was fun. Thank you, Rachel. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Healthy Approach Podcast. Be sure to subscribe if you like this podcast and help us spread the word by rating and sharing with your friends and family. If you'd like to learn more about Solar Ray Sharp Mind products, go to sunflowershop.com. That's shop with two P's and an E or visit us at one of our two locations in the Dallas-Fort Worth area.